when the economy is doing well, guitar sales do well. Amazing story that I have to show you from during the week. A world record has been set for the highest basketball shot ever, right? Take a look. Oh, now, yeah. this was in Holland, oh. I believe. Yeah. 62 feet, is that right? 90, oh. That was 98 metres up. That's I right. wasn't even close. Looks at 62 feet. You know what? Why do they do that? Do they not have Candy Crush yet in Holland? Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> Well, and the thing know. is, it looks impressive. But mm. what they don't tell you is that was their 60, 60 second shot, okay. right? I thought we could do a little better. Are right, you ready? We're going to go for our first shot, ladies. Soy <laughs> Mocachino! <laughs> 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 I just don't understand why you'd clap that. That really screwed up my brunch with the girls. I know. <laughs> we had such high hopes for it too, didn't we, Dave? Oh, it was, was going to be so much fun. And you ruined everything. Tom. Sorry, I'm really sorry. <laughs> hey, here's a story you might be interested in, Joel. Mm. Uh, Miss World, Miss Love World it. pageant, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thought oh. you'd be keen? Oh, I'm mad I, for it. I yeah. picked my crowd. <laughs> yeah, I picked my crowd. Well, yeah. it's a bit of a sad story because there's been oh. protests, okay. right? There's been protests in Jakarta. Take a, take a look, right? Yeah, they don't want it. Now, oh, come I'm not... On, mate. Talk I'm not, through it. Come on. Come on, buddy. I'm, I'm not sure why they don't want it. I didn't bother to find oh. out, but I'm, I'm assuming it's jealousy, <laughs> right? <laughs> I am. I took a look at the protesters. There's not one hottie amongst them. Oh. 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 Shut up. <laughs> we don't all have to be hot, thanks, Prime Minister. It's been... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for your own interest, I do know why not. It was because of uh, religious beliefs. Oh, yes. right. It's they been... didn't like the bikini part of the competition because of religious beliefs. Believe... So they tried to move it to Bali where it was OK because they're Hindus, but then, anyway, that's They why. have moved it. They have moved it, right. Yeah. And they've taken, they've still taken out the bikini contest, which I just think is, you know, it's a shame. You don't tell Usain Bolt to slow down. You don't tell Stephen Hawking to simplify it. Let them have their <laughs> moment! <laughs> it's going to be in Bali now. Oh, I can't wait to the part where they have to wear, like, the national dress so all the girls come out in bintang singlets. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so, something which might be more up your alley. Have you watched The Bachelor? Are you kidding? Oh, yeah, I have. Love it. Yeah. Quite a few times. Uh, I'm, you're, I'm assuming you are a bachelor yourself. Yeah, I am. I'm, I don't know. Yeah, well, I am. Maybe, I don't know maybe next year you could be the bachelor. I base. think I'd be great. I, I know. know. With, this, with this lisp and rimp list, I think. <laughs> I think uh, Should perfect. we have a look at some of the ladies? Yes. Oh, great. Um, who's our first one? Have we holding a magic eight ball? Yeah. You've got a few decisions to make tonight, I guess. You just give it a good shake. Yeah. Um, and hopefully we'll have the answer. So is it yes or no, or it actually? Um, cannot predict right now. Okay. So I'm hoping you give it a few goes for me. Oh! oh, oh Mish, didn't that hurt? I reckon he's going. I can predict this, and it's. I oh, know. <laughs> Did you watch The Bachelor? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did actually watch it. Really? I don't know why I think my DVD player was broken, but I did, <laughs> I did watch it. But, I mean, you can't turn on that woman, though, by the way, for bringing that along to a day, because, let's be honest, it's just a dodgy prop that was given to her by a producer just before they Is started. It? Yeah, like, there you go. And we, action. No, oh, no. No. <laughs> no. no. That's how TV no. works. No. Because it's not even real. <laughs> you're so right. right. Dodgy props given to you by producers. That's what I call Tommy. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same Isn't thing. the bachelor himself like a chiropractor? Like, that's not even that sexy. Like, oh, yeah. babe, let me crack your neck. Oh, like, it's not he even... doesn't need any help, does he? He's such a good looking guy. He's like, nice. I would love just to mix it up. They just get, like, a, you know, a guy just under the weather, 70, and just have the look, and then they go, Oh, he's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Still great about this show. He's stunning. He's got a great he's job. Mm. And the women also are stunning and amazing. Mm. Get a load of this lady. She's actually a doctor. My name is Judy. I'm 28 years old. I'm a doctor from Sydney. Right. And the producers mm. don't give them props. They use their own human brains, Tom, and they think about <laughs> what they want to present to this man. First meeting. You can't make a first impression twice, right? This is what she bought. Yeah, I made you a chocolate gold plated rose. Thank I you. figured you'd be giving out roses, but probably not receiving one. 
Yep, that is props to Pub. No, it's not. <laughs> she made him a rose out of... They realised they didn't do enough with the eight ball. <laughs> that went, one upset me. Good. She's a doctor and she's yeah. beautiful. Why does she think she has to make him a rose maybe, out of chocolate? Maybe she was yeah. applying for MasterChef and then on the way... They, you know this is the bunch of... more than anything in the world so I think you should watch The Bachelor because he's on it and he's beautiful yeah but also I just want to say quickly like you may not realise this but Tim the hunk of a thing that who is The Bachelor <laughs> the yeah. hunk of a thing yeah. he, he wasn't actually their first choice <laughs> what am I looking for in a woman someone who's really caring and has great cans <laughs> someone who cares about having great cans uh, my name's Tom Gleeson, I'm 39, and I'm married. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Who am I looking for? I'm looking for someone smart, passionate, caring, perhaps with big arms, abs, a beard, a penis. That's my ideal woman. What happened to the rose? <laughs> I don't know what happened to the rose. Well, it's great for the Aikens dot. What's your problem? What's your problem? Tastes, tastes like really... romance. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what tastes like romance. Cruskets. And the reason I say that is because there's this video that's, oh. that's just popped up today. It's right. I'm with you now. Oh, okay, and this beautiful man has just had surgery and, and then he's coming out of surgery and his wife's filming it on her phone. And he, he, he doesn't recognise her at first. Mm -hmm. And he can't believe it. It's beautiful. Look at this. Did the doctor send you... Man, you are eye candy. <laughs> you eat the Who cracker. Who are you? What's your name? My name's Candace. I'm your wife. You're my wife? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> you put the fizz back into romance. Surgery! I hope, I, I hope she actually was his wife and not just some stalker. Like, no, I'm, I'm your wife, I swear. Yeah, I, I think it was all organic and everything too. It wasn't set up or nothing. Shut up, it's real, man. Oh, hey, Joel, God. if people want to follow me. you, they can do that on Twitter. Joel yes, Creasy, we're going to see you. Justin Bieber. Not going <laughs> we're going to see you more on a leg of their own soon. Back more soon, ladies and gentlemen. Please thank Joel Creasy. <laughs> Let's go.